Finding a realistic yet playable virtual harp can be a real struggle. <sighs> so many sample libraries out there lack a sense of realism or they're so complex that you're spending more time tweaking settings than actually writing music. And that is where Cineharp is gonna come into play. Back in 2007, CineSamples released one of their very first sample libraries, Cineharp. And 10 years later, they released a new reimagined anniversary edition, which we now know as CineHarps. Now, this library has become a personal favorite of mine, especially over the past few years. It's become one of my go-to harp libraries because of the ease of use, because of the sense of realism. But now this Museo version has been updated with articulations and key switches and a ton of glissando patches. And it's all available within your Museo subscription. Now, what I really like about Museo is that everything is accessible to you just within a few clicks. So when you open up an instance, we have our catalog, we can see the instrument, we can see our downloads, and we can just, you know, browse for Cineharps if we want to, it's right there. We can search for harp as well. And then if we just enter the library, we have a ton of articulations to choose from. Uh, we actually have this articulations key switch patch, and that is brand new. Key switching in general is just a great new addition to Museo. But if you don't like working with key switches within your workflow, you still have the option to choose from a ton of individual articulations as well, like our heart plucks, the harmonics, the xylo, the slides, uh, FX, and then we also have, and these are brand new to Museo, glissando and all of the different types of scales that come along with that. And then we have glissando swells and those major pentatonic harmonic minor scales. And then we also have glissando rips. And so whichever way that you like to work, I think it's great that you have the option to choose between these two setups. So now let's hear what you actually get by going into the different key switch patches. So within the articulations key switch patch, we are gonna get everything that basically isn't a glissando. If we were to just click our instrument, it brings us over to the instrument tab and we see that we have everything loaded in ready for use. So for example, C7 is our plucks, C sharp seven is our harmonics, uh, G7 is FX thunder, you know, we have our palm slaps. So right off the bat, let's just take a listen to some of the plucks of the harp. It has a really good velocity to it. Really, really nice touch from Cine Samples. If we were to go to maybe Xylo, so this is like the xylophone style of playing, you're almost muting the string a little bit. It's not as resonant as the plucks that we heard before, and it's not really like harmonics. Your, your pitch is still the same pitch. Almost sounds like a string pizzicato. It's a really nice sound. And then if we were to compare that to something like the harmonics. Almost bell-like, it sounds uh, higher in pitch. I really like that they added in all of these different articulations. So, you know, we have these kinds of effects, we have these slides. really cool. And then we have three different sets of Bisbigliando articulations. So set A is going to be really nice. Super cool stuff. And what's great about having these articulations added in for us is that we're gonna get different recordings of performances and different tempos and different ranges. And this is gonna be across all three of those sets. So even though Museo is a lightweight plugin, we're still gonna have a ton packed into this library. We have three FX patches, so let's start off with FX Thunder. Nice, okay. All right, so we have some aggressive playing styles and then we have the scrapes. Awesome. And then just because FX palm slaps. Awesome. 
And so that's just a quick look at the 10 different articulations that we get. But at the core of this library, we're going to get that beautiful traditional harp sound that was recorded at the MGM scoring stage along with the rest of the Cine Symphony lineup. So if you have Cinebrass, Cine String, Cine Winds, this is gonna blend beautifully together to get a gorgeous Hollywood sound. Now let's take a look at some of the glissando patches. I actually divided my Musio rack into three glissando key switch patches. So we have this first one, which is just our standard glissando. The next one is gonna show us our glissando swells. And then the third is gonna show us the glissando rips. And this is just a way for me to have quick access to all of the glissando articulations. So let's start off with just our regular glissando, a major scale. Okay, and it's gonna be broken up into sections as well. So let's actually just start off with that C1 range. So it's a very quick upward major scale. And then C2 is a quick downward scale. That's a mid upward major scale, mid downward, and a nice long major scale up, and a nice long major scale down. So even though you have a massive range on your keyboard to play with, it is nice to know that it's all broken down into chunks by octaves. So, you know, up and down short, up and down medium, up and down long. So that's a really nice feature. All right, so let's try out the pentatonic scale as well. Oh, that's gorgeous. <laughs> Yeah, that's like a heavenly sound. And it's nice to know that these are all kind of consistent throughout. So you once you kind of understand the layout, you're good to go. Nice, okay. And what's also great is that they recorded every note of the scale. So, you know, right now we've kind of just been testing C because that's a nice marker. So, you know, we could go for a... G minor, right? We can go for an A, E, so on and so on. Octatonic, let's try that one out. So let's just take a look at maybe some glissando swells and what haven't we used? Let's go to half diminished. Absolutely gorgeous. What else? Maybe whole tone. Yeah, let's try that. I love the longs. I love the long ones. Yeah, that's awesome. So now let's move on to our glissando rips. These are the last set of all glissando articulations. Harmonic minor. Fully diminished. Awesome. So we, we have the three here. And three. Two. Three. Now having these key switch patches added in has made my own personal workflow just so much easier. Instead of loading in every single articulation and routing everything separately, it's all just housed in one single patch, which has been incredible for my workflow. Using these key switches is incredibly powerful because of how quickly I can access them. But sometimes it can be difficult to remember exactly which key switch does what and for which articulation and which patch. And that's why I want to share with you how I've implemented this new Musio setup into my own workflow. So in Logic Pro, I actually love using articulation sets because I can route all of these articulations individually through the key switch patch. So for example, I can pick 
which notes I want to be my plucks and then I which notes I want to be harmonics or you know my slides or which effects I want to use. So if these were just plucks, right? But then let's say, you know, I wanted a certain part to be just the the xylos, right? So let's just change all of these for example and I want to pick xylo. And without recording any actual uh, key switch trigger, which usually is either at the bottom or the very top, Logic is gonna know to automatically say, okay, for these particular notes, we're gonna be using this particular articulation. So let's take a listen to what that might sound like now. So we have the plucks, and then the xylos. Right, and so that makes my workflow just even quicker, it's much cleaner than actually using a trigger at the very top, which would be these uh, key switches themselves. And I think that really shows how Musio can streamline different libraries like Cineharps into your workflow. Because I personally use something like a iPad to control a lot of my articulation switches. So if I wanted to go from, we're in articulations right now, if I wanted to go back to plucks, Right, so we have those plucks. Then I want to maybe do some harmonics. And this workflow allows me to access everything right at my fingertips. Maybe let's go to some of the glissando and let's try just a major glissando. If I wanted to go to maybe half diminished, if I wanted to go to fully diminished, Let's say maybe I wanted to go down to the swells, right? Let's say. And what's great about this process is that I have access to those key switches, but I don't have to think about, okay, let me try and go to C7. Okay, let me go to G7. I can just touch and go. So let's say I wanna go back to my articulations. I go to plucks. I go to maybe, I have mutes as my xylos. And you don't have to be using an iPad. You can use your own MIDI controller, another external controller, but it's just an example of how Musio can fit within your own personal workflow. It doesn't block me or pigeonhole me or anything. This Musio version of Cineharps really prioritizes just that core harp sound and instant access. This is gonna be perfect for the composer that's looking for a well-sampled professional harp sound, especially if you don't wanna to have to go in and tweak a ton of settings to get a sound that sounds good, you know? It kind of strips away all of the overbearing, overwhelming side of programming and just gives you the absolute basics. We have the, the key switches, but we also have the dynamics and expression faders. We have reverb and you can control like the decay, how wet or dry you want it. And that's what's great about Musio. It's all about simplicity and just writing music. And the beauty of this is that Cineharps is just one library out of the entire Musio catalog that you have access to. So your entire writing process can be about just inherent exploration. So if you are looking for a beautiful expressive harp to add to your music, then definitely give Cineharps a try along with hundreds of other sampled instruments at museo.com. All right, I think that was it. Awesome.